All right, so today we are speaking with Charles Alexander. He is 21 years old from Quebec. Now he's studying in school and also has an agency, but he initially started his agency with two business partners, but they weren't pulling their weight. So he had to cut ties with them. Then he joined Digital Launchpad, went through Pen to Profit, went through the sales training program, and since then has signed his first client. Let's hear his story, how he used DL, how he used the coaching calls, and how he managed to get his first success. Charles, how are you doing, mate? It's Ali, nice I'm to meet you. I'm doing good. How about you? Good, man, good. It was a little bit stuck in traffic, but I managed to make it back for this, so I'm super excited. So before we start, before we get into your story, DL, what you're doing, all that kind of stuff, give me a little bit of a background, who you are, where you're from, how old you are, just a bit of a background. My name is Charles. I am 21. I'm from Montreal, Canada. I'm going to university there and I'm also running my agency in the background. I have a, a bit of backstory on this. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Amazing. So what were you doing? Like obviously before Digital Launchpad, you've got a bit of a backstory with your agency. Mm -hmm. I yeah. believe you had an agency before with some friends. So just talk a little bit about that so we can set the scene mm -hmm. as to what Charles was going through before Digital Launchpad so we can give some context on how yeah, DLs actually course. benefited you. Mm -hmm. So I used to have an agency with two of my friends about a year ago, and we had it for a year. We got two different clients, but my friends weren't involved enough in all that. So I had to drop mm -hmm. them because they were losing easy clients that could make us a lot of money. And that was just not acceptable. So I started by myself back in January. And you guys launched the L, I think, around March. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure. I, I joined uh, since uh, it launched. But I really got time to get into it for the summer because I didn't have school, less mm. work time. So everything was like aligned for that. Yeah, since then, I've just been uh, learning on DL. I did the copywriting yeah. program. How was that process? Interesting that because you had an agency with your friends. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to watch this and it's good to give them a little bit of understanding. Like for somebody your age, yeah, you know, it's quite a difficult decision to make, isn't it? With your friends, it, you mm -hmm. tend to just, oh, they're okay. They're my friends. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. But you seem to have been like, no, this is business. What, exactly. So what I learned from that, that I didn't know uh, prior to creating that business with them was that they can be your friends, but you have to make the difference between friends and colleagues and people you are working with because this is mm -hmm. real money. This is not a friendship. So me dropping them wasn't a personal thing. It was a I want to get somewhere thing. So when I told them uh, there's a way to tell people stuff and I didn't say you didn't do this, you didn't do that. I said mm -hmm. it's the type of conversation where you say, you know, in life, some people don't have time to do this and that. And that's completely OK. But I want to focus on these things. And uh, I think I'm just going to go by myself instead of completely blaming them and just telling yeah, them. Yeah. Again, like this is something we, we talk about a lot within the business, even in our day to day. Framing things correctly is massive. There's so many ways that you could have delivered that message that could have caused confrontation, arguments, yeah. bitterness. But the fact that even that surprises me that you're emotionally aware. It surprises me because obviously yeah. people tend to be when they're younger, they tend to be a lot more impulsive. But the fact that you had the understanding to actually frame that in a way that was respectful to your friends and stuff, I think that's mm -hmm. a well done my, for that. That's, my that's girlfriend awesome actually thing. helped me a bit to write. Oh, that, now it, it was now a it. long text and I had, you know, um, key points I wanted to talk about yeah, and yeah, a paragraph yeah. for each. and. Like I read through it a few times and you know, it worked out because today they're, they're still my friends and Amazing. I used to talk to them uh, now and then. So everything is really good, nice with that. Good. I thought there might be a female touch behind it. So it's good. It makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, but she, I, I knew I couldn't like tell them you didn't do this, you didn't do that, mm. but I didn't know really how to say it. And in her field of study, she had classes on how to tell people those things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she was she used to be a nursing, so she had courses where she had to tell people how uh, they had uh, X and Y diseases, and there's a way to say that. So yeah, so that emotional that intelligence was a was a big part. Okay, so coming back to you, then you've started yeah. a new agency or carried mm -hmm. the existing one on whatever it is. Yeah. What was the situation like, client wise, um, business wise, before DL? So at first, it was kind of hard. I only did uh, emails, uh, cold emailing, which was good. I had a long list. I was sending emails. I had a tracker that would track who was opening them, who was answering. I also had a, a lead magnet. It's a mm. small PDF, two pages, just yep. free info to hook them in. And I could see who was opening it, who was not. And it was doing well, but I 
I think with the thousand email, I got like one or two answer and they were no's. So yeah, it, yeah. it's kind of, it gets depressing at, at first, mm. then, but you know, you got to get through through that and just Absolutely. keep on going. 100%. So that that was before DL. How did you first hear about DL though? Have you been following him on for a while? And his, and yeah, his I've journey? been watching the, the events and everything uh, every now yeah. and then when they come out. It's really interesting stuff that he's putting out there. So mm. that's why every time, even, even though I know at the end, uh, you know, there's a new program coming out and everyone, he wants people to get on that program. I'm like, I'm just going to listen to it, see what inform information I can get for that. Because some programs used to be a thousand plus dollars. Now, now I have the money because my agency, everything. But at first, I just couldn't afford all this. So. Yeah, and that's exactly yeah, it was why. just perfect. Exactly. And it's exactly why DL was created, to bridge that gap between mm -hmm. people who want to make that move towards the agency or that program. I think they, they, well, it was uh, it was 35 USD, I think. It yeah, translated to like $50 in Canadian money. So that's that's nothing compared to the other programs. So Amazing. it was a chance to have people to talk to that mm. wanted to do the same thing as me uh, and actual teachers I could talk to as well. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So when you've come in then, what programs, I mean, my understanding is you've you've just watched a little bit of everything or you've just gone through yeah. a lot of the programs the, the one i watched the most actually took a lot of notes on that one is the copywriting program uh, in that program they give a, a big chat gpt script and th mm. that's amazing <laughs> that's mm. really good because whenever i get a new client and i want to set up something for them i know i'm going to have to do a uh, text for ads or text for their websites depending on what service they, they ask me for that chat gpt script gets me exactly what I need to know to get the perfect, let's say, uh, email titles or descriptions, anything. Mm -hmm. It gives me the keywords, the audience, the, everything. So that's really good. And I've been using that. Every every new client I have, I just have a meeting with them. I ask them a few questions about how they run their business, who are their clients, and I put everything into that script and everything drops out really fine. Amazing, yeah, amazing. And you also really are a big fan of the live calls, right? You go on the coaching yeah. calls, you're listening yeah. to them. How have they benefited your development? Well, mostly, I went mostly on the sales calls because yeah. as an agency, I have to try and go and sell clients. So mm. after DL, I did a lot more uh, cold walk-ins or cold calls, and mm. that's how I actually got them. It's not through emailing people because let's say I do a cold call, yeah, the person on the phone can hang up, but when I do a cold walk-in, they have to listen to what I have to say. So yeah. I took notes from what they said in the call, and I was like, oh, this could work for me, this could work for me. And uh, uh, where I'm from, I actually go to a business school. So I tell them, hey, I go to this business school. Then I automatically have credibility. And then yeah. there's a few more things I say, but just the fact of saying, I'm a new agency, I use the same software as the big guys, and I cost less is a dream for them. So interesting because you're benefiting from the sales part of Digital Launchpad, six figure mm -hmm. sales rep. You're using them techniques. You're using the pen to profit techniques to create your copy for your clients, for your emails, for the website. You're mm -hmm. literally completely doing everything that you need across two or three programs. Exactly. So how has that translated into business wise? Okay. Because obviously you went solo, friends dropped out. You decided to go in your own direction. You've done the programs. How is it looking in terms of business-wise? Have you got to a point where you've closed anybody? Profits come in? What's the situation? Um, so as of right now, I have two clients. And yeah. actually later this afternoon, I might be signing a third one. Amazing. Um, the one I wanted to talk about that was especially because of DL, the, the cold walking, actually. So I dress up, I put a black pants, a black shoes, a polo. I walk in there, I, I tell my, my speech with uh, everything I've learned in, in DL and in the calls. And uh, yeah, so I, I sold her yesterday. It's online ads for six months. And then when I set up ads, it takes a bit more time than just looking at it, doing my analysis, optimizing everything. So there's like an extra fee. So it's uh, it, it goes at the end of the six month, it goes around like $2,000 approximately. $2,000. Amazing. And that might be another client coming onto the roster later on today, God willing. <laughs> later on today, yeah. Bro, amazing, man. That's... And I've been talking to this guy. This guy's more word of mouth. Even if I know the guy from the friend of a friend, whatever, Yeah. Uh, I know that there's still the selling part to do. So I have to know what I sell and know the right keywords. 
So what I really want to tell him and how I'm going to convince the person that, yeah, you need my services because marketing yeah. is essential for the business survival and everything. How did it feel to close that client though? Because obviously you've gone on your own, you've gone through the program. Yeah. How do you feel now confidence wise, like to be able to I'm, close? I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you. The day I went to do cold walk-ins, it was actually my second time doing it ever. And mm. the first few clients you do like that, the first few people you walk in, you extremely stressed out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Almost uh, like losing your airs. I wasn't shaking, but I needed a, a bigger uh, breath. And then she told me she was interested, left me her number. So we called, we had another meeting where I asked her all those questions, mm. we established a plan. And then from there, she basically said yes. And then I sent her the contract because I wrote a contract because I don't know her at all. So I. I want to protect myself and protect her. And uh, so in that contract, I said, as long as you haven't signed and you haven't paid the first payment, I'm not going to do anything because mm -hmm. I want to protect myself. She didn't sign it for like two weeks because she decided she was going to go on vacation and she was gone. Oh, so I was God. like, oh, did I lost my clients? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Sometimes she, she comes back and she texts me. I was like, oh, maybe she actually wants the service. Maybe I, it's not over yet, but she made you, I don't she made you, she, she made you sweat exactly. properly. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't <laughs> want to feel like I was desperate for that client. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I didn't like text her every day because that's just going to end up being like a bad thing. Mm. But she ended up telling me, uh, I, I think it was this Monday. Yeah, I think I have time for a call. Do you want to hop in so I can get set up? So to set up the Facebook business manager and she's also yeah, yeah. doing TikTok ads with us. So she hopped on that call and everything uh, went fine. She's Amazing. fine. She paid. And then I got all her uh, already content videos yeah. to put out there. And all that. So many lessons though that you've had, like mm -hmm. that patience and waiting for the customer to come back, yeah. the excitement of closing it and then like being, oh, mm -hmm. is it closed? Is it not closed? And then These you see the payment that... coming in, you're like, holy shit, she did it. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's now we're, now we're set up. You know what? I always, I often say to people, that's also a tremendous buzz. The process, mm -hmm. the feeling, the excitement. When they tell you okay, and then you're like, okay, she said okay. That's yeah, yeah. Good. And nice. then just just Keep waiting, rolling. waiting for that first payment to come in. Not mm -hmm. knowing, like, I don't know, man. These are the things that you remember, you know, like your first deal, mm -hmm, your first close, how you sweating yeah. it, how you needed more air when you did that first. Because there's going to come a time in two, three months where you're going to walk into somebody's office and just be so calm, so collected mm -hmm. that because you've practiced and you've done so many reps. Exactly. But you never forget that first one where you The first you want. And you talk about these for years to come, they become memories and stories. So I'm glad you're experiencing it. How have you found mm -hmm. the community, Charles, generally? As in like, have you networked with people in there? Have you spoken to people? Yeah, I've spoken to a few people. Most of the time, people are nice, they're trying to learn. And you always learn when you do stuff right mm -hmm. you learn when you do concrete stuff not when you look at videos online when you read yeah. stuff it's really when you do it that's where i learned the most so every time someone has questions because technically i've had an agency for like two years i've learned a lot of stuff and people are like getting hooked on the details and i keep seeing some questions sometimes so i tell them hey uh, do you want to dm me I, we can talk about it and everyone's helping each other and we're yeah. like a group but the second I have a question, I can also go there and maybe someone went through that specific thing. That's what got me really hooked onto DL. These small things that usually aren't on YouTube or whatever, someone went through it, but they don't really tell everyone. So yeah. you just got to ask out and then that's why you get a, a bigger chance of yeah. seeing all that. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear the community is also playing a big part in your development and people are obviously helping each other. Obviously a lot more coming in the next few weeks in terms of we're launching accountability, loads of new things, new programs. So I'm really, really excited about everything to be honest. And I'm glad mm -hmm. speaking to people like you just reminds me of you know why we do this and why yeah. all the hard work is worth it. What the plans now for you? Just continue with the agency, continue with school, and yeah, just keep growing, 100%. keep developing. I, I planned out my my summer job to be at nighttime, so I work like from six to ten p.m. almost every day, except Thursdays and Fridays. Mm. But that gets me enough time to, if I have to go do cold walkings, I can because it's during the day. If I have to get meetings with clients, I can because it's during the day. So my schedule this summer was really aligned with that. There's also two other clients that have told me they might be interested in September. So I'm waiting on them, yeah. give them an, another call. I just want to scale it as much as I can and. I know I asked you once in the, the calls a question about how do I price my clients? And what I've come to realize is you don't charge them too high when you start out 
because you're not established, you don't have the credibility and all that mm. stuff. So that's why I, I was making a bit less. But since my agency is doing online ads, website creation and SEO and uh, social media automation, I can mm. stack those uh, services. So let's say a service is uh, $200 per month. Uh, I can stack another 200 with another service for the same client. So if I can have multiple clients and stack services with each client, then it can go up way, way fast. This is the interesting thing because a lot of people ask this and it's a normal question like, how should I price my product? And the truth of the matter is nobody gets the pricing right straight away. It's just exactly. a case of go in, do it, learn the work. And you'll start yeah. understanding what value you're bringing and then what you can yeah. charge for that value. So it's very difficult. It's not like a black and white answer. Oh, Ali, how much do I mm -hmm. charge for this service? Well, mate, charge this. If I give you a figure, you're not really going to have conviction in that figure because you've not done any work to justify it. Does that make sense? Whereas that now you've gone in and you've done the work, you know, okay, that took this much time. That took this effort. This is what I should price that up. This is the return on that work I did. So hence, mm -hmm. this is the area in which I need to price it. It makes me think my first ever client with my first ever agency, he had a watch uh, e-commerce store online. Mm -hmm. And our deal was whatever profit we give you, we had like a scale. And let's say it was 50% more. I was taking a 5% cut or something like that. We had him for like seven months and I made zero dollars with him because yeah. we sold, but we didn't sell enough. For those out there like trying to learn Facebook ads and they want to get paid straight away, just give someone a golden deal and learn the things with, it's not their money, but it is because they're investing, yeah. but they know they have someone who's trying to make a name, name for themselves yeah. and understand the ins and outs of all the, the service basically you're providing. Yeah, so and I that's, learned that's, so much during that six months. And that's a great perspective to have because sometimes it's, it's okay okay not to get the instant reward and the instant gratification mm -hmm. of sales and money look you know sometimes you it's just, just gonna get better at the end <laughs> just get get in get dirty man get in the dirt yep. just learn and if you can learn using somebody else's investment like you said there's no real better way so charles mm -hmm. before we wrap up i just want to ask you like yep somebody came to you now and said charles i'm thinking about joining digital launchpad what would your advice be what would you think how would you recommend it what what advice would you give that person i'd say yeah go ahead join because you're gonna get the help you need um mm. depends on what you want to do because a thing i realized with digital launchpad is yes you guys have courses about copywriting and about sales mm. uh being a sales rep and everything but it doesn't just apply to people who specifically want to do this like i told you i applied it to my business model and there's plenty of business models out there these are skills that you need to complete the business model and make sure 100%. you can go forward with that so even if you don't want to be a copywriter you don't want to be a, a sales rep they're still extremely valuable info that's going to get you way further than you could imagine that's amazing advice and the fact that we've got other programs coming soon as well like no code SaaS, mm -hmm. web development so many more programs coming there's always something in it for somebody who's in a particular industry but what you've just said there is so true like mm -hmm. sales is so important everything we do is sales exactly. every interaction you're selling something if, you're if i was trying to convince my girlfriend of something it sells it everything sells. Is sells you use everything and i, and I know people yeah. are like well that's a bit weird but it's true copyright i read a book uh, it's called sell or be sold and mm. it's about believing in what you sell i don't know if you read that if you know i've heard of it i've not quite read that one it's it's about believing what you sell because the more you believe it the more you, you're going to be good at selling it and mm. that everything in life is selling something if you want to get a promotion at your job well it's selling yourself to your boss absolutely so, absolutely yeah. Charles, it's been an absolute pleasure. It really, really has. It's interesting when I start these calls and I first start speaking to someone, you never do quite know where the call's going to go because often mm -hmm. it might be the first time I've spoken to you. But mm -hmm. throughout the call, I've kind of understood like for somebody so young, you've got like a very, very mature mentality. Yeah, I've been told that. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that you've dealt with a situation in your business where your partners, your friends have gone one way, the fact that you understand that even if you do six-figure sales rep or pen to profit, it doesn't mean you have to do sales and copywriting. These are skills that you can apply to life generally. The fact that you're getting on with your journey despite what's happened in the past with your friends. I Honestly, I'm really, really excited about your future. I like your demeanor as well. You're a calm guy, chill guy. Thanks. Yeah, listen, hopefully we'll speak again and we'll pick this hopefully. story back well, up. It's not going to be hopefully, it is going to be, we'll speak again. <laughs> my guy, my guy. I fucking love it, bro. Take it easy. Thank you very much you for joining too. me. And I will, I'll speak to you soon. Of course. Yes.